All right, it's showtime. So, have you done any lip bubbles or anything like that this morning? I have not. Not a thing? No, I'm sorry. I'm <gasps> sorry. Okay. Well, I was taking a look at the, the remotes art, and I was thinking, there are times where you have to do chromatics. Okay. So, on a lip bubble, just kind of slither, you know? There's a lot of those little things where you have, you know, and you got to really right make that, that in tune. Yeah. Feeling okay? Yes. Another thing that I was looking at is there are lots of times where you have, you know, you know, that little kind of two note mm -hmm. slur thing. So I thought a variation on our familiar start. Absolutely, I think you need to walk some more. 
seemed a little better connected. I kind of just trying to calm down. <laughs> uh huh. It's interesting. I mean, your body movement is very loose. You know. It's all a facade. <laughs> <laughs> Internally, I'm okay. all wound up. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, you're you're acting pretty well. So keep doing the the little twist. I think that may wake up. You know your internal external obliques a little bit. You know you just might feel a little better breath connection yeah. that way. Same thing. Sounds really good, Randy. Two more. slurus again most of the time in the Mozart it is a it's a third you know you know you'll yeah. get something like that okay how's about good old friend smaller it's probably a little whistlier and I mean you know it is that. oh that's a C a C as a C. lyric mezzo you know you're probably going to be using some whistle mm -hmm. yeah I didn't realize we were that high yes you were <laughs> good so now as we come back down <laughs> let's do it uh, ya, ha, 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 ba, put a B all the way down or a da either a B or a D your choice <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
just to experience the difference, really try to sing it nasal one time. Okay. At the end. Okay, just to feel like, okay, that was up. Mm -hmm. Now let's really feel what the old habit is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it, it's not just palette down, it's also, there's yeah. a little, uh, there's like yeah. an NG thing that kind of goes yeah. in. Okay. Okay. Thunk yes, it it is, it's hard not to thunk. Yeah, I, I get that. You know, you could probably do a. You know, you do go back up or something like yeah. that. Like a little. Bump, bump, bump. I feel like or yeah, or a little bounce. Yeah, let's do. Let's try the, the three bounces at the end. You know, you'll hear some mezzos, and they will use a little mm -hmm. nasal coupling thing in there, you know, to, to some good effect, you know. Yeah. You'll hear some people do that, and it's like, it kind of gives them this kind of thing. Yeah. It works, you know, for certain voices. It's, it's not my... Uh, my preferred aesthetic, but sometimes, yeah. you know, I've heard people use it very effectively. Professional singers. Balance. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yep. Like salt on a cake, as, as Tasha used to say. Okay. Um, another thing from that there piece, you got, you got runs up and down. So let's do...
Tessitura is, I mean, because you're still singing basically on, on around E flat. Mm -hmm. Now that's shifted because when we started, you were singing more a uh there and then it's shifted yeah. a little bit. Like up a little bit? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I can feel it when we sing this Mozart and the other Mozart. I feel like this is more comfortable. Like slightly higher. Half a step, yeah. yeah. It just, it's a smidge, a it, smidge lighter through there, you know, in terms of timbre, which then affects weight. Yeah, it makes sense, because forever people were always like, you're a, are you a soprano? Like, people would sometimes try to give me soprano rap, or, mm -hmm. I don't know, so, man, high mezzo, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I continue to think that. Because that's what feels good. I mean, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay, last but not least, a variation on the rhythm with a familiar pattern. I'm sorry. So it's the rhythms of the aria, uh -huh. but it's this pattern. Let's do it this way. Since ba is the consonant of the day, it seems. Yeah, yeah, just that one. 
again, just to remember, okay, this is an aria. It needs that aria energy, yeah. <laughs> started to do instinctually maybe you started to do a little of your twist well, I didn't even notice. yeah yeah go with it I think that's great Yesterday, just for fun. I mean, I was here by myself in the house, and I thought I'd been listening to Pavarotti and Karani sing the duet from Act One of Berlin, and so I I did one of the ascending lines, you know, and it was like, okay, well, it's going okay. It's like, <laughs> and that's one phrase. <laughs> <laughs> and I did that for like two and a half hours. You know, it's like I will never ever sing that role ever in my life. Mm -hmm. The vocal athletes in this reel. Real. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. They're, these are robust people. Yeah. They are robust people that can do that kind of music day in and day out. I'm going to keep yeah. working. Well, you know, <laughs> I, I think, you know, Mozart and Donizetti and yeah. Handel and so on are much more conceivable for most people. Yeah. But, you know, you get beyond the heavy Donizetti and stuff like that, and it's like, Oh my. Yeah. Oh, this is like... You're a freak of nature. Okay. Yeah, you know. And, and of course, they don't get there overnight either. Yes. You know, yeah. it's quite a process. Yeah. Okay. Well, cool. <laughs>